You're one of the most amazing men I have ever met, Rafe. Hey! Ooh, Laura. Who's she? <laughs> My agent. She's taking a new job. Yes. In Laos. Yeah. I don't see what it'll achieve, that's all. We're living separate lives now. We have done for a long time. I'm not being bitter. I'm just... <sighs> OK, I'll think about it. Yeah, I, I have to go. Ex-husband. Jim. My divorce was finalised months ago. I let him have everything. The house, the business, the lot, just to get it over with. Now, suddenly, he wants to hang out with me again. OK. <laughs> I should be more sensitive, I suppose. He could be ill or something. Maybe he's just remembered what a great person you are and he wants to be friends. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you don't. <laughs> Does that make me selfish? <laughs> For wanting to move on and put the past behind you? No. That's not selfish. That's normal. Thanks. Hey, stranger. How you doing? Fine. What is the official statute on cold shoulders? Because I'm pretty sure I've learned my lesson by now. Go easy on her, she's having a rough time. Well, hello, I'm here, willing to help and support. What's the problem? Oh, her ex has been in touch and he's pressuring her to see him. She's not keen. Ten bucks says he wants to get back together. It happens all the time. But it's a possibility. That's the last thing that Jennifer wants. Hope he doesn't start making a nuisance of himself. What? Your deeply concerned voice, it's funny. What's funny about looking out for a friend? Nothing. Don't be so sensitive. I've been trying to set up a hospital in the north for quite some time. There's been a constant round of fighting and opposition, and finally, out of the blue, I get the go-ahead. What, you didn't think to tell me this? Well, it only happened this afternoon. I was so caught up in proving myself to you that... Well, what? As soon as you got the chance to drag me into bed, you just went for it? What was I? Another knot on your belt? It's not like that, Tanya. You know it isn't. If I thought there was any hope for us, I'd have never said yes to leaving so soon. But you'd written me off. I had no reason to stay. You know what? Wait, you know what? It's not like we owe each other anything. What about those pancakes? I wonder if there's anything left to salvage. I don't think that's a good idea. I'll get dressed and go. Whoa, check you out, eh? Who's a lucky guy? Guys, plural, as it happens. And girls. Well, it's a surgeon's thing. We get together once a month, have dinner, talk geeky. Heaven forbid I actually go on a proper date. You know what that is? A waste. Thanks. This top isn't too much, is it? I don't mean that in a does my bum look big in this kind of way. I actually want to know. No, it looks fine to me. No, no, it's too much. <laughs> right. Well, well, you messed up your hair. Is that better? No, not really. Can you fix it for me? Me? Yeah, I'm running late. Just make me look presentable. Okay, then. Hold still, then. Hey, you should come along tonight. There's a couple of nice girls you might want to meet. Oh, really? Well, count me in the next time I'm not working. Deal. Now, can I untrust you and some of the product we have today? That's <laughs> oh, so scary. You're telling me. I'm out here, thanks. No problem. He is such a sweetheart, that one. Tries to pretend he isn't, but... Well, you don't think so? Yeah, yeah, he's great. You never know, they're both single now. Stranger things have happened. Rafe and I got together today. That's wonderful news. Should be. Being with him was just so... I've never felt this way about anyone before. And Rafe, he feels the same way? But it doesn't really matter, um, because he's he's leaving in a couple of days to set up a hospital in Laos, and uh, he's not planning on coming back. When did this happen? He, um, he confirmed it yesterday, uh, when he thought we were all off. But 
now that you're all on, maybe he can delay his plans. Oh, he's, uh, he's already committed himself. There are people depending on him. There are people who need him more than I do. Why did I have to go and trust him, Mum? I should have known it turn out like this. It sounds to me like it's just a matter of bad timing. Rafe clearly thinks the world of you. He's still leaving me, like men always do. If I had known ahead of time that I was going to lose Ben, that I would only have him for a couple more days, I would have made the most of them. Filled them up with joy and good memories. Oh. No, I can't see Rafe anymore. It'll just be way too hard. Why don't you sleep on that? I should have booked months ago. Yes, I understand that. Look, do you want our money or not? Fine. And by the way, you are an extremely rude little man. You won't be laughing when we're eating pies in the cafeteria for our Christmas party. I love pies. There's got to be some venue that hasn't been napped. Isn't it a little late to be organising this? Yes, I don't need reminder. There are heaps of places at the Viaduct. What about you, Ray? All booked. Everywhere is booked. Oh. Hey, you were due upstairs ten minutes ago. And the party planning returns to the back burner. Well, here, let me do it. I worked as the PA upstairs. I do know how to organise things. OK. That is the date, that is the number of people, and that is how much we've got to spend. Don't book anything without checking with me first, OK? I won't. <laughs> Thanks, Bells. I owe you. <laughs> oh, come on. That little cutie was hanging off your every word. You're shameless, you know that? What's he done now? Praying upon the nursing staff. No, I wasn't. It's this guy you need to look out for. Uh, you have my solemn assurance I won't be bothering the nursing staff. Nurses, I'm all done with. Ah, not good enough for you, bro. That's not what I meant. I should hope not. He thought Maggie was cute. Not my type. What is? Ah, uh, someone smart, sophisticated, successful in their own right. Mm. Someone in Sarah's leg, eh? That would be a head of department, at least a specialist. Maybe a surgeon. Ah, uh, any of the above, I'm not fussy. The hole you're digging just keeps getting deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Too gracious, Luke. And why wouldn't I be? I'm delighted you and Tanya have found each other, despite your most unenviable predicament. <laughs> Which, might I add, will do nothing to ameliorate her quite considerable trust issues. Yeah, I'm screwed. I get that. Oh, the lobbying and the fundraising for the hospital have been a massive undertaking. And yet, abandoning the project at this stage would be unthinkable, not to mention irresponsible. I might leave you to it. It was horrible what I said to you last night about being another notch on your belt. I deserved it. I handled things very badly, and the last thing I wanted to do in the world was hurt. Please, just let me try and get this out. You're an amazing man, Graham. A really special human being. And well, part of what makes you so special is, is the important work that you do. So... Let's just make the most of the time we have left. We'll have fun, and when the time comes, we'll just say goodbye like buddies. As simple as that. Well, it, it's as simple or as complicated as we make it. OK, um, I'm really sorry. You're right, that was such a stupid idea. I don't have time yet. What do you want me? Uh, take your pick. Cubicle one, probable humeral fracture, minor laceration, and some right upper quadrant pain. Cubicle two, rib fractures with GCS of 15. This patient here 
has a laceration over the occiput and uh, pain over C3 and 4 GCS for 13. Support for choice, all from the same MVA, I take it? Yeah, uh, chemical tool probably needs to be seen first. Sure. Is he stable? Almost there. Sorry, guys, I got my hands full. We have to move quickly here. Ah, Jennifer, uh, can you help, please? Sorry? I need you to hand over with these guys. Uh, surgeon, not emergency specialist. Doesn't matter. You'll be fine. Come on, you can do it. Uh, call my registrar to come see these MBA patients. OK, uh, what do we got? Here you are. Eat up. What about one for Brody? Oh, Brody can make his own. Hello, hey, baby. Do you want some? No, I'm good. What's for the phone book? Oh, I'm looking up venues for the work Christmas party. You left a bit late, haven't you? Not me, Nicole. But now I am officially her assistant. And I ran through her list of possibles this morning, but they're either all booked or way overpriced. Well, this place is available and affordable. Only Sophie said that she didn't want any Christmas bookings this year because of last year, you know, Karen and everything. But Sophie's not working here anymore, is she? Anyway, that stuff's all in the past. If she really wants to get over it, the best thing she can do is take part in the Christmas shindig. Bring back the good times, am I right? Oh, no offence, but people from the hospital come here every day. It's a bit samey. Well, it wouldn't take much to spruce it up. Yeah, like we did for the Oktoberfest. Oh, my, I mean, I, I don't mean the wacky costumes or anything, more the catering and the... No, 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 costumes are awesome. The Oktoberfest was awesome too. We could definitely use the business. What's your budget? Five thousand. Five grand's doable. I mean, it'd cover your hire and some finger food. Sounds about right. Well, that'd be really cool. But before I take this to Nicole, there is something that kind of worries me. What's, What's that, that sweetie? Well, as assistant to the social club president, I need to know that the people I'm working with can work together and not be mean to each other. We're talking about a Christmas party. My two favourite guys were fighting. It wouldn't really feel right. Waiting on this. How's she looking? She's hypoxic and confused, febrile, tachycardic, hypertensive. She also has a rash. Urine's come back with a high bacterial count, possible urosepsis. Mm, better get her seen by the medical team. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Something's up here too. Her breasts are asymmetrical. This one feels hard. What are you thinking? It doesn't feel like a mess. A leaking implant? Leading to toxic shock syndrome? I don't know, it's, it's pretty random. Well, not the everyday route to TSS. It's still possible, though. So you want to open her up? It's a big gamble. She'd be a massive anaesthetic risk. Big gamble if we miss a ruptured implant, too. Well, I'm sure you make the right call. Mm. I was hoping. Any idea where Bella is? Filing. Under no circumstances disturb her. I don't want her distracted. You're no fun. Neither are you. Why are you here on your day off? Uh, just looking for someone to have lunch with. Uh, don't look at me. I don't think I can get away. I've got to get these things out. It's OK. I can eat at home. I can meet you for lunch tomorrow or have a drink with you tonight after work. Mum, it's not a big deal, OK? I just thought it'd be nice to have some company. Well, what about your flash new boyfriend? Or is he off scaling a building somewhere? Actually, scratch that. He'll be chatting up some nurses. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It was a joke. Yeah, well, your joke totally sucks, OK? Just keep your stupid opinions to yourself. Not everyone's lucky enough to have everything go exactly the way they want it. Tanya's had some bad news. Rafe is leaving the country. Oh, no. I've put my foot in that, haven't I? <laughs> Here. Sorry. If you need a hug, you know where I am. At least it was short and sweet, right? I really must voice my protest. Thank you, Luke. I've taken that on board. Anesthesia alone will put this patient at risk, let alone a surgical procedure. Something I'm also aware of. Then I urge you, very strongly, to stand the team down. Not until I've completed the ultrasound. She's tachycardic and her blood pressure is low despite the inotropes. Increasing the metaraminol should take care of that. I know how to do my job. Hmm. Here's the irregularity there. That's our ruptured implant. OK, people, we need to move fast. Let's drape her and open her up. Good call. I stand corrected. My apologies. Thank you. Let's get on with it, shall we?
Forgive me for saying this, but uh, you're not as amped as I expected. Aren't you excited? Taking off to another country, building something from scratch. I'm a little distracted. There's a lot to think about. Oh, everything's all right, I hope. Absolutely. Everything is running exactly to schedule. Oh, better get you sorted with my contact list then. Cheers. You got time to come back to the hospital? Of course. Thank you for hanging out with me. Oh, I feel so pathetic. I'm your mother, that's what I'm here for. And you're not pathetic. So what'll it be? Hot chocolate. Two. Two hot chocolates, coming right up. Are you here to meet Rafe? Sorry? Only if you are, you actually just missed him. How did he seem? He's really miserable, to be honest. Really down the dumps. Oh. You know, if I was him and off on another big adventure, I'd be bouncing off the walls. Guess a novelty wears off after a bit. Did you want uh, marshmallows? Do, do you have any idea where he went? A most satisfying, if unexpected, result. Your cosmetic surgery experience is an invaluable asset to the team. Oh, he's looking happy. The implant had ruptured. We've removed it. She's stable. Well, nicely called. Well, more luck than anything else. If I'd taken any longer picking up on it, she wouldn't have made it. And if you hadn't picked up on it at all, she'd be in the same position. Look, you trusted your gut and you did a great job just like I knew you would. And since I am responsible for all this drama, it's only fair that I shut you a drink. Oh, well, that's an offer I can't refuse. I'd better grab shower first. Yeah, I prefer that. <laughs> <laughs> you were amazing in there. You blew everyone away. Aw, oh, well, I couldn't have done it without my team. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got to shoot. You know how she's a social club president? Well, I'm kind of her assistant. Okay. And we needed to find a venue for the party, so I came up with the best idea. Okay. Well, aren't you going to ask me what it is? What is it? The IV, and you want to know why it's so brilliant? Because they need the money? Well, yes, but also because if I'm the social club president assistant, then Dan and Brody have to work with me, and if they have to work with me, then they have to be nice to each other, and we'll have a really awesome Christmas. Well, that would certainly have its benefits. Oh, Nicole, Dad and Brody said they can do us a party for five grand at the IV. It's really close and familiar and everybody likes it there. And if we say yes now, no one else will get it. OK, um, busy now. Leave it with me. Well, that was so practically a yes. If you say so. OK, so let me get this straight. Your little surgeon's club actually seeks out cheap, nasty restaurants. Cheap and good. That's where the challenge is, see? Uh, okay, considering you all earn more than the national debt, the question <laughs> why does have to be asked? Because it's fun. We get to have adventures. In case you hadn't noticed, it's very boring being a grown-up all the time. Mm. Do you want another one? One more. Then I've got stuff to do. What, some dodgy buffet restaurant deep in the burbs? Do not knock the dodgy buffet. Oh, I'm calling into my apartment. I have to shut the windows. Leaky roof again. Under up here again. I've got damp carpet, airing it out helps. What, are you still living there? I, I should probably give it the flag. It's fallen into the too hard basket. You're renting? Hmm. Well, I, I'm looking for a flatmate if you're interested. Yeah? Yeah, well, you know the place. It's, uh, you stayed next door with Tanya. The last time I had apartment issues. Yeah, well, right now I'm on my own, but my daughter comes and goes. She's 14. You reckon you could live with a colleague? Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Anyway, it's not like we're in the same department, is it? Although, if you carry on the way you did today... <laughs> I'll give it some thought. Good. Excuse me. Hey. It's good to see you're out celebrating. You certainly deserve it. Oh, it turned out to be a good day all round. How would you feel about me being a neighbour? Are you kidding? I'd love it. We'd love it. Great, because Maxwell's just asked me to move in with him. <laughs> Ah, so have you thought about it? The Christmas party. Yes, and I need some more details. Like how much bang the IV can offer us for our butt. Ah, that's the best bit. Not only can they offer us the venue, but the catering and decorations as well. That's way more than the other places could offer. OK, but I sense we're forgetting something important here. Something of the refreshment variety. Oh, you mean drinks. Bingo. That's separate. Well, the IV isn't an option then, I'm afraid. But you said that the venue budget was 5000 That means there's no... No, no, no. It's 5000 all up. I really appreciate your help today. And I appreciate you trying to pull some strings, but I'm afraid we're going to have to find somewhere else. Uh-oh. 
What do you mean, oh, oh? It means I kind of already booked the IV. Why? I was trying to be helpful. Not helpful, Bella. Not helpful at all. Oh, wait! I can fix this. I know I can fix this. Why do we have to come here? I thought we were having cake. Just because I... Because... Go on. Get over there and don't be a chicken. I think I'll leave. OK, so, uh... So, the thing is... I can't uh, stop thinking about you, Tanya. OK. OK, this is a good thing. Okay, so I know you have to go. I, I understand that. But a few more days of incredible is worth a, a whole lifetime of average. I know that you may break my heart, but hey, I might break yours too. So I think we should just take the risk. Okay, Anyway. Uh, double. Uh, big wardrobe. En suite. Oh, en suite. I do love an en suite. <laughs> I see. Anything I should know about? <laughs> Makes sense. Looking for a flat mate. What do you reckon? Could you live with him? <laughs> You're out here, Mark. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what about you, Mark? That seems normal enough. Better check it out then. I can come now if you want. What about shutting the windows at yours? Oh, half an hour won't matter. Excuse me. Cool. Well, I guess I'd better get used to seeing more of you girls. You guys hang with Jennifer a bit, don't you? Hey, I don't think it's such a good idea. What? You guys hanging out together? Uh, no. Jennifer moving in with you. Why is that? Well, it's very obvious that, you know, you've got designs on her. She's out of a really traumatic breakup. She's fragile. She doesn't need to be played with. Well, that'll make two of us. Look, Jennifer and I are just mates, nothing more. Wake up to yourself, Maxwell. You're hot for her. You can't wait to get her back to your place. Where's this coming from? She is my friend. I'm looking out for her. Are you sure? Because right now it seems to me as though you're the one who fancies her. If things keep going at this rate, we're looking at a data storage crisis. The Science Squad investigates a solution at half past eight. Next, Heston's in crisis mode when last-minute glitches threaten the future of the panto. It's doctors.